All right, hey guys, what is going on? So in the video today, I'm very excited because in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my custom whites boots bounty hunters that I ordered back in November of 2021. So it's been about six months I've been waiting for these. I ordered these during the 20% off sale at Baker's and I forget all the specs that I asked for, but I did consult with my brothers in boot hood, Jimmy Nerdin with boots and Dave boots of mannish leather so i owe this pair of boots to both of you guys i think jimmy brought it to my attention because i wasn't actually on the baker's website or i wasn't signed up for their email list and so i wasn't even tracking the whites in fact you know one of the, one of the most common questions i get on my videos is hey when are you going to try whites when are you going to try whites when are you going to try nicks well i tried nicks from uh, nobleman's apothecaries collab recently the swashbuckler which i'm a big fan of so now today i'm going to be trying out white my first pair i'm very excited i'm very impressed by the box it's very cool it's got a lot of very nice a lot of really cool imagery and logos on it so the style is 375 l farmer rancher eight inch with an oak sole color is special reference bkb 18499 whites size eight and a half d spokane washington since 1853 so this is a pacific northwest boot since 1853 all leather handmade boots spokane washington without further ado let's see what we got all right so first up we've got this nice little envelope that contains information about their services there's a return slip won't be needing that i hope you enjoy your custom boots thank you teresa very nice a handwritten note and cool, a sticker. That'll be going on my workbench. All right, let's have a look. Whew. Look at these. So this is gonna be an eight inch white bounty hunter in olive waxed flesh. Now, I recently just got a pair of Trumans in, which were also custom. I got an Upland mock toe in their olive wax flesh. And uh, I actually ordered the Trumans after I ordered the whites. And lo and behold, the Truman's got here way sooner. Um, <laughs> Ooh, this is awesome. Uh-oh. This product may contain a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer, birth defects, or other reproductive harm. And so, yes, so we've got olive wax flesh on the upper. We've got four brass eyelets, five speed hooks with one brass eyelet at the top. I opted for the perforated cap toe. I remember that now. We got a, looks like a woodsman heel. Nice curvature there. This is going to be a single stitch down welt, 270 degrees. We've got triple stitch along the back heel stay. Really cool stitching on the back heel strip, similar to the NYX Nobleman's Apothecary Swashbuckler boot. Almost the same exact pattern back there. It's like a triangular stitch and then three row stitches. Also a very, very prominent shank protruding out here. You can probably see it here. It's got, it's nailed down, which is a nice touch. Yeah, and you can see the stitching from underneath the leather sole here. Quabog, interesting. So we've got a quabog heel there. All in all, very nice. I like it. Oh, cool, and we've got some kilties. I probably won't be wearing, using these Although one announcement I do have in regards to kilties is that uh, my buddy Jimmy at Trinity Handmade, otherwise known as Nerdin' with Boots on Instagram, he's become a good friend of mine. And he actually asked me recently if I would, since I've gotten into leather work fairly recently, if I would be down to take over the kilty making business from him because he's just sort of gotten overwhelmed and he's looking to uh, move on from that business model he's got a very successful tattoo shop he's booked out for like i don't know how many months out i forget what he said but he's really booked out and uh, he's really busy and so he just kind of wants to move that on he knows that i have a passion for leather and leather work and uh you know, the bags they're a lot of work for me and he offered to hand off the kilties to me because they'll they'll be a, a product that will be easy basically to to make and to move and to you know i can basically buy a side create a bunch of kilties out of it, sell them, and that'll help fund the rest of my operations in terms of like bag making and you know whatever 
gear and machinery I need to continue doing that. So, so that's my announcement. Look for that in the next couple months. I'll be announcing it uh, formally and officially on my Instagram. But in the meantime, I figure what better place than to bring it up during my White's unboxing video and share that with everybody. So I'll be handling those here shortly. But again, I'll, I'll announce when that happens. We don't know exactly when that's gonna happen just yet. Jimmy, thank you so much again, my friend. I'm just humbled and flattered beyond words that you would think to hand that off to me and entrust me with your killer kilty making heritage and legacy. So I'll take that responsibility on and I shall do my best with it. These bounty hunters came with two sets of laces I do not like these nylon type laces. I just don't, they come in red wings, they come with thorough goods. I, yeah, they're tough. I just don't like them. I don't think they complement such a well-made service boot very well at all. I'd be doing a disservice to this boot by throwing these laces in there. I've, I've never liked these types of laces. Uh, they're durable, that's about all I can say for them. You guys know what I'm really gonna do. I'm gonna throw these raw hides in there. These raw hides are amazing. I'm just a, I'm a raw hide fiend. I'm fascinated by rawhides. I think they make the best lace. They make the most comfortable lace, in my opinion, as well. They flex with your foot. They can expand and stretch a little bit as your foot expands and stretches. They break in really nicely. They really form to the boot. They're just, they're just incredible. So yeah, the rawhides all the way. I will have to try these on. When I first saw them, they looked a little big, but it's because they're so tall. But if I compare these to, say, my Grant Stones, now these are going to be because of the arch too, they're going to appear short compared to like my Grant Stones, there is no arch. So they, they're sort of, they're definitely longer. So both eight and a half, the whites appear, appear short, but again, it's because this arch length eats up a little bit of that length because your foot is gonna sit differently in the whites that it's gonna sit more like this, whereas in the Grant Stones, it's gonna sit more flat. So that's one thing to take into consideration. So given that, I would say, that we are in business. Yeah, these look to be about the same length as my Knicks, so we'll be good. We've got an unstructured toe. Beautiful, all right. Well, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. What do you think about these new bounty hunters? I'm very excited to start working them into my rotation. I will update as needed, and I'll certainly do a follow-up video once they're all broken in and I can do an honest review of them. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see y'all in my next video.